Hello viewers, this is Wagdaru now taking you through today's tutorial on application to differentiation 1. And in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about curve sketching for cubic and higher polynomials. So curve sketching for cubic and higher polynomials will involve determining the following. 1 is the stationary points then 2 the nature of the stationary points and 3 intercepts and lastly the sketch so in other words the process is the same as the one for quadratic polynomials but the difference here is that for cubic and higher powers there there is more than one turning point or stationary points so there are two or more so we shall start with problem 1 problem 1 says that find the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve y equal to 2x cubed minus 9x squared minus 60x plus 11 and distinguish between them or that we shall say hence find sorry hence sketch the curve so the first thing we shall start with the stationary points and know that for you to get stationary points you have to first get the first derivative so this is why i'll get my dy dx so 2x cubed when you differentiate 2x cubed you'll come up with 6x squared when you differentiate negative 9x squared you'll come up with negative 18x and when you differentiate negative 60x you'll come up with negative 60 when you differentiate 11, 11 is a constant, so when you differentiate it, it will give you 0. That's why you don't include anything here. After that, we shall remember that at stationary points, the first derivative is equal to 0. So I'm going to equate this to 0. I can reduce it by 6. So reduce this divide by 6, I'll get 1. This divide by 6, I'll get 3. This divide by 6, I'll get 10. All that, I'll factorize it. To get x plus 2 and x minus 5. So a, if I use x plus 2 equal to 0, it will give me x equal to negative 2. And if I use x minus 5 equal to 0, it will give me x equal to 5. So now that I've got the x coordinates of the stationary points, I have to get the corresponding y values. Now, when x is equal to negative 2, I'll come and substitute in the, my equation of y, and I'll get 79. So, that is one of the coordinates, negative 2 and 79. Similarly, when x is equal to 5, my y value will be negative 2, 6, 4. What does that mean? It means that the stationary points are negative 2, 79, and 5, negative 2, 6, 4. Now that we have got the stationary points, the next is to determine the nature of the stationary points. In other words, are they maximum, minimum, or points of inflection? For that, I have to get the second derivative. So my first derivative is this. When I differentiate 6x squared, I'll come up with 12x. I differentiate negative 18x, I'll come up with negative 18. And differentiate 60, negative 60 is a constant, therefore when you differentiate, it will give you zero that's why there's nothing here so next is substitute so at this point negative 279 the x value is negative 2 so substitute that x value in the second derivative you come up with negative 42 now this negative 42 is less than zero what does that mean it means that this point is a maximum point and at this point, x is equal to 5. So substitute 5 in the second derivative, you come up with 42. This 42 is a positive value, meaning it is greater than 0. That means that this is a minimum point. So now we have managed to get the stationary points and also to distinguish the two. Now next is to get the intercepts. So we shall start, this is the curve, the equation of the curve which was given, and when x is 0, this is 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 11, so y will be 11. When y is 0, it means that the whole of this is equal to 0, so come and equate to 0. And when you solve, solve it using a calculator, we shall come up with 1x equal to negative 3.79, 
another x will be equal to 0 0.18 another x will be equal to 8.11 note that we are using two decimal places because in curve sketching we use two decimal places so the intercepts will be 0 11 negative 3.790 0 0.180 and 8.110 Next is now to get the sketch. For the sketch, you require the following. One, the axis should be labeled. And two, the intercepts should be demarcated. And those are the intercepts. Then three, the stationary points should be also should also be demarcated. And those are the stationary points. Minimum point is that. Maximum point is that. And lastly, we have to draw the shape correctly of the curve. So this is how it looks like. I think you can see the maximum point was negative 279, which is here, negative 279. The minimum point was 5, negative 264, 5, negative 264. Remember here, this is a sketch, so you don't demarcate that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only show what is required. In other words, show the maximum points, turning points, show the intercepts, and show the axes. Then, so the, now we have got the minimum and maximum. Now the intercepts are 0, 011, 0, 11, that is an intercept, negative 3.790, negative 3.790 is there, Z 0 0.180, 0 0.180 is there, and 8.110, which is there. So the shape has to be that this is a maximum point and this is a minimum point. After drawing this, shape of the curve you have to remember to label your curve so it has to be this has to be there and remember to also label the axis so problem two says that they find the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve y equal to 5x power 6 minus 12x to power 5 and distinguish between them Hence, sketch the curve. So we shall start with the stationary points. We know that this, for you to get the stationary points, you have to first get the first derivative. So why is this? Dy dx will get be that. So differentiating 5x power 6 will give me 30x power 5. Differentiating negative 12x power 5 will give me negative 60x power 4. And after that, I have to remember that at stationary points, the first derivative must be equal to 0. So I'll keep my first derivative to 0 and I'll factorize it out. I think I'll say that 30x power 4 is common in both. Therefore, I'll remain with, in, in the bracket, I'll remain with x minus 2. Therefore, either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So when I say 30x power 4 equal to 0, I'll get x equal to 0. When I say that x minus 2 is equal to 0, I'll get x equal to 2. Now that I've got the values of x, I have to get the corresponding values of y. So when x is equal to 0, y will be equal to 0. And when x is equal to 2, y will be equal to negative 64. That means that the stationary points are 0, 0, and 2, negative, 60, negative 64. Now that I've got the stationary points, the next point is to get the nature of the stationary points. Is, is there a maximum point, a minimum point, or a point of inflection? And to get that, I have to first get the second derivative. So the first derivative is this, second derivative is that. So 30x power 5, when I differentiate it, I'll get 150x power 4. And negative 60x power 4, when I differentiate, I'll get negative 240x cubed. So at this point, 0, 0, my x value is 0. So come and substitute for x in this second derivative. I'll come up with 0 minus 0 to give me 0. So because the second derivative is equal to 0, it implies that this point is a point of inflection. Then for the other point, which is 2, negative 64, 
the second de- x will be equal to 2 so I'll come and substitute for x in the second derivative and get 480 now this 480 is a positive value the meaning that is greater than 0 what does that mean it means that this point is a minimum point So now that I've got the stationary points and the nature of the stationary points, the next point, the next part will be to get the intercepts. So this is my equation, and when x is equal to 0, I'll come and substitute 0 here, 0, so it will be 0 times this, and now I multiply by 0 is 0, so I'll get my y as 0. And when y is equal to 0, it means that the whole of this is equal to 0, that Therefore, x power 5 is equal to 0, or 5x minus 12 is equal to 0. When x power 5 is equal to 0, yeah, my x will be equal to 0. And when 5x minus 12 is equal to 0, x will be equal to 2.4. Therefore, the intercepts are 0, 0, and 2.40. Now that I've got the stationary points, their nature, and the intercepts, the next part will be to sketch. And in sketching, we have to be conscious to show the following. One is that the axes must be labeled. And two, the intercepts must be shown clearly. In our case, the intercepts are 0, 0, and 2.40. Then the stationary points also must be shown clearly. So we have the minimum point as that, and the point of inflection as that. And lastly, we have to draw a curve and label the curve. So this will be the shape of the curve. I think you can see that this is a point of inflection. Point of inflection, remember we said the signs of the gradients don't change. So it is negative here and negative here. Then this is the minimum point. I think you can see that it's the minimum point. So 2, negative 64 is the minimum point. And the intercepts are 0, 0. This is also an intercept. And this is also an intercept which is there. The axes have been labeled and the curve has also been labeled. So that is how they sketch such functions. So it's now your turn to try out the following problems. So that is problem one. Compare answer with that. So that should be your sketch after trying out this problem one. That has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.